What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do a dream catcher read for the sign of Virgo, okay? Virgo, hopefully you guys are doing well. You guys are second this week on the Zodiac lineup. Remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal, so take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? I just want to fix this just a tad. Okay, there we go. Okay, so um, hopefully you guys are familiar now with the Dreamcatcher Reads. Um, this is like a brief, I try to make these as brief as I possibly can, um, as this is about your energy as a collective, okay? In reference to your dreams, all right? We don't do any clarifiers for the dream catcher reads if you're not familiar, okay? These took the place of the intimacy reads. If you're missing those, you can go to my channel, click on the playlist, okay? And look up, um, bring back the intimacy readings. All of them are still there, okay? Along with the self-care, okay? And so that being said, let's go ahead and get into these. Um, after you guys, I'm actually going to lay down for a little bit and then Pisces and Scorpio, if you have that in your chart, um, will be done, uh, butt crack of dawn. Okay. <laughs> um, so that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. The top card is in reference to where your energy is right now, Virgo Collective. The bottom card is in reference to the energy of your person and or situation okay and then one energetically from the middle and i think i want this one here is in reference to where the energy is or what the energy is between you and or the person or situation okay we're not looking at the bottom of the deck Okay, we're going with what we have here on the table. Okay, remember, no clarifiers. This is primarily about your dream. Um, you can associate this reading with dreams that you've been having if you're paying attention to your dreams. Okay, um, I highly suggest, Virgo, that whatever you dream, especially if it's something very um, fluid um, or very... Um, <clears throat> Oh, I just had the word and I lost it. If it's very um, descriptive, okay, um, by all means, I would highly suggest that you write it down, journal it, and kind of refer back to it. You can refer back to these readings and see if your dream is kind of channeled within the reading, okay? Um, if it does come up, we'll mention what we can, okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys, Virgo. So we have the five of coins, okay? Earth energy, Taurus here, feminine energy, okay? Then we have palace of swords, okay? And then we have tree of life, okay? Tree of life is coming up for a second time during these reads, okay? Um, you have a minor, like, I believe, if I remember correctly, Tree of Life is kind of um, a minor arcana um, in this deck, okay? If I remember correctly, this is the Tarot of Dreams. If you would like to look it up, um, by all means, please do, okay? Um, but let's get started with your reading. So your energy here is with your cosine Taurus, okay? Five of Pentacles, okay? Um, possibly in your dreams, have you been dreaming about, you know, cold weather? Okay. Something in regards to the winter. Okay. Maybe something occurred during the winter months. Okay. Um, for you, something significant. We're not going to get into it again. No clarifiers here. Whatever comes out, comes out. Okay. Um, five of pentacles, of course, pentacles can mean finances, um, maybe some financial issues or struggles, if you will, where you've kind of had to pitch pennies a lot 
There could be something that you're trying to save up for, okay? Um, for some of you, take what resonates and pass the rest, okay? Get in where you fit in. But this is, like I said, Taurus energy, Taurus feminine energy, as you can see the feminine sign over here, okay? So with the little horns on it. I love these cards because they, they talk about what sign is associated, okay? So that's where your energy is right now, okay? Um, there is a woman here, okay, holding out a cup. Um, there's something else that she has kind of with her. It's kind of like an, another, I don't know, something else that she's carrying, okay? Kind of like a bundle, um, but the bundle doesn't have a face, okay? So it could be a possible situation of where you're very hopeful about something. That's the vibe that I get from this, okay? Um, that's all we're going to say about that, okay? I'm not going to go any deeper than that, okay? This middle card is in reference to the person or situation, okay? And so this is the Palace of Swords. Palace of Swords, any palace suit within this deck is kind of in um, a connotation of hope or uh, specific desires, okay? Um, I feel as though there's like this desire of some form of, of truth that swords is about direct um, communication, okay, with swords. Um, wands is more about action. This is air energy, okay? So this is about, um, in my opinion, swift communication. Movement um, is more so in reference to wands, in my opinion, when I read intuitively, okay? And so Palace of Swords is just this vibe of like forthright energy because we have these like horses with wings here. Um, it looks very futuristic. I hold this up a little bit closer for you guys so you can see. Um, it's kind of like futuristic here, okay? And so situation at hand, I feel as though there's something within the energy of the situation of trying to advance in some shape, form, or fashion. So it could be um, a situation of like direct or definitive communication in a sense, okay? Um, status is what I'm, I'm feeling, okay? A certain status, like a status quo, okay? In regards to a particular situation. You know your situation better than I do. Again, I don't use these readings to go in too deep, okay? If anything comes up when we get into the main focus, we'll touch on it, okay? Let's get into this tree of life, okay? Tree of life, all right? No particular sign is really coming up here. You have all these different numbers, lettering, um, and connectivity, if you will, okay? If you think about your regular tree of life, the tree of life is usually circling around connections, family, uh, networking, things of that nature. That is the energy between you and the situation. Okay, possibly Virgos with this being the energy between these two cards, it's equaling out to a situation of just that you're dreaming or hoping for um, a change in your income, uh, your worth. Okay, possibly. All right, you are a Virgo sign, you're Virgo, which are earth energy. Um, Earth is pentacles. Again, primary thing most people go for is finances, but there's also worth, value, morals, things of that nature, okay? And so between these two right here, um, it's this hope for a lot of connections, things of that nature, okay? Um, possibly starting a, a new life 
if you will, whatever that may be for you, birthing of new connections, okay, um, and relationships, okay? So, excuse me, with that being said, let's get into the mindful messages for you guys, Virgo, okay? I'm going to pull one from the top and one from the bottom. These two messages here you can take for yourself or you can put one for yourself and one towards the situation at hand, okay? There are color coding with these cards that I associate with the chakras. You may need to get whatever chakra is mentioned aligned or opened. Uh, you could be dealing with a blockage or just need to realign your chakras or work on meditating in that chakra, okay? So let's see what your messages are for your main, and these are related to what your main focus should be, okay, at this time. So we have recharge, which is heart chakra going to the throat space, okay, um, a little bit, but mostly primarily into the heart chakra. Recharge, I invite magic into my life always. Every day I grow my connection to this earth. If I am ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy, okay? Not a coincidence that you're getting this recharge card, Virgo, as you are, like I said before, an earth sign, okay? Um, some of you may um, like to go to the park, okay? Um, it's very rare that you go. Maybe you go there um, in times when you are in deep thought. Um, maybe it's a perfect place for you to go to meet new people, okay? As far as this connection type vibe that you're going through, okay? Um, it's a particular park that you go to where not a lot of people know about it. Okay, that's something else that I'm feeling. It's kind of like a hidden gem type place, okay, um, where nobody really frequents there where you're noticeable, okay? Um, it's not like your everyday park where you're like, oh, hey, Jim, how you been type vibe, okay? Um, it's more of a, a stranger's park. <laughs> If you will, like, I don't want to call it that, but that's the, the vibe that I'm getting. It's like a stranger's park. It's like you, there's no one there that knows you, okay? And there's no one there that you know. So that's why um, it's the perfect, perfect place to go, okay? So by all means, go to that park and take the time to recharge, okay? Um, you may find it a situation where you end up being the only one at that park, okay? Hopefully it's well lit, it's during the daytime, don't go at night, okay? Go during the day if you can, um, and get some quiet time. Kind of listen to the birds, uh, take a look at the clouds, um, maybe pack a little lunch or something like that, take a notebook with you, do some writing while you're there, um, and just really enjoy the sounds of nature and recharge your mind, body, and spirit, okay, Virgo? Connect back to the earth in which you came, okay? The next card we have is projecting, projecting, okay? New energy alert, okay? Welcome those watching this Virgo video. I appreciate your viewership, okay? Um, anytime when I see a new card that does not normally come up, recharges came up before, but projecting is very new to the card pull, okay? So there's obviously either Virgo sun, moon, or rising, whatever placement you are, that you have Virgo somewhere in your chart, welcome, okay? So projecting, we have throat chakra and heart space here. Rather than reacting and projecting my emotions onto others, I remember no one is to blame. No one is responsible for the emotions that I feel. When someone says or does something that brings up strong emotions within me, I have the choice in how I respond, okay? Be mindful, okay, of being triggered by something that is something you have been suppressing within yourself, okay? If you feel that you're being targeted or something 
is um, stirring up emotions within you. Do not project those emotions onto others, okay? Um, they cannot be held responsible for what triggers you, okay? They don't know what is possibly going to trigger you until you say something, okay? And so the best thing for you to do is, of course, heal from whatever the situation is that is causing that type of emotional flare up within you Virgos, okay? So again, remember, no one is responsible for the emotions that I feel. When someone says or does something that brings up strong emotions within me, I have the choice in how I respond, okay? Meaning, do not project your feelings onto other people, okay? Take what's happening kind of take the time to calm yourself center yourself understand what your feelings are why you're feeling that way write them down if you can um at that moment okay um and review it for later but do not take it out on the people that are closest to you okay um they cannot be held responsible for that all right um, because they have no idea what's going on within your heart space, okay? So be very mindful of how you communicate how you feel um, with others, okay? If you're in a situation where your emotions are high based off of something that they've said, um, kind of address it, but in a compassionate way, okay? In a sense of if you're looking, you know, to have that person be empathetic towards your situation, kind of, you know, ask them, especially if it's something where, you know, you feel somewhat offended by what they said because of not what they said, but the tone and how they said it, okay? You could be, your emotions could be running a little bit high lately, okay? Um, for what, whatever particular reason, it's not really coming out in the cards so that, again, new energy, um, this is specific to them, okay? Get in where you fit in. If this is not your card, don't try to make it fit. Okay, because this is obviously for another Virgo collective. Okay, so take the time to say, hey, what you said kind of made me feel a little bit of a way. I just want to clarify some things with you in reference to what you said. Okay, um, and express how it made you feel at the time. Okay, but when you do so, make sure your emotions are not high. Okay, bring them down, calm yourself a little bit kind of reevaluate what it was that they were saying. Was it more so them being accusatory or were they just stating, a, having a general statement to something, okay? Kind of, you know, make sure you're actively listening, okay? Not actively responding, okay? So when I say actively responding, that means you're not really listening to what they're saying. You're only listening to the tone of their voice. You're not fully actively listening to them, okay? Especially if it's someone that you are very familiar with and you're taking their words and you're twisting them and taking them out of context because there's a possible insecurity going on within you, which is causing the projection, okay? So hopefully that made sense to you guys, okay? Again, not putting any blame or shame on you guys, just explaining the card as it is. Okay, so we're getting into the sacred geometry. I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to pull one from the top and one from the bottom. This is basically what the outcome of the energy is, okay, or something in particular to your current energy now. You again can take both of these messages from these cards for yourself or one for yourself and one towards the situation, okay? You can take a screenshot of these as I hold them up and you can use them for a visual aid during meditation. That is my highest suggestion to you in reference to these chakras that we mentioned, okay? Heart space and your throat chakra, okay? If you are having troubles with kind of communicating with people, malachite is my number one go-to crystal if you are into crystal work. Um, grab yourself some malachite and practice meditating with that on your throat chakra, okay? So let's get into these messages here. And you got the same card as Capricorn, only it was over here. It was the second message. You and I shuffled. I did shuffle the deck before I started with you guys. I always do. Um, but you also got healing too, 
okay? So healing, like I said, healing that heart space. I would definitely take a screenshot of this card um, and use it as a visual aid um, for healing your heart chakra. This green aura, if you will, kind of is all, um, when I did it for Capricorn earlier, um, it made me automatically think of the heart chakra, okay? Uh, 29 equaling out to 11, a sense of enlightenment, like I said, for Capricorn as well, focusing on what you want and not what you don't want, okay? And that's in reference to the type of connections you want in your life, okay? And um, let's go ahead and read this message. It says the frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly, okay? So everything that you're taking in, everything that you're retaining in reference to your emotions, you have emotions that are tied to if you're if you see something, it may make you cry or feel a certain way. If you hear something, uh, like I said before with this projection card, someone's tone of voice where it's not what they said but how they said it, okay, um, can affect you. Um, a smell, okay, you smell something good, you have a reaction to it. Um, if it's your favorite food and you smell something in the air, you're automatically craving it. If you smell something that's bad, it makes you angry, okay? <laughs> Nobody enjoys bad smells, but, you know, Virgos have a, a very, I feel like you guys have a nose for for anything, okay? And when you can smell something that's off, um, it really pisses you guys off, okay? And especially if you can't figure out what it is or where it is. So that's something particular within Virgos, okay? But nonetheless, it's that time to use your senses as far as your emotional senses, mental and emotional, okay? Um, and harmonizing them with everything accordingly, okay? So it is time to heal. There's something within the Virgo collective in a certain particular part of you that needs to heal, okay? Your next message is number eight alchemy okay number eight alchemy um this card has came up before as well can't remember uh, the particular sign that it came out for um but you can take a screenshot of this one as well okay eight is talking about um balancing oneself okay as you progress forward um the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation, okay? Transmutation is another way of evolving within oneself, okay? Um, again, this status quo that I mentioned with this palace of swords is what makes me think of this transmutation, okay? Um, putting yourself in a different kind of circle with this tree of life, again, referring to those connections, okay? Where you currently are now, you are not happy where you are now, you need a change or want a change within your life, okay? And so you are starting to manifest what it is that you truly want in order to get to this tree of life, these connections, okay? You're creating magic around yourself. That means being motivated um, and more determined to get to that status quo that you're trying to get to, okay? And that is your hope, that is your dream, okay? Is to elevate yourself, okay? Um, maybe always, you know, remembering who you are, but evolving at the same time, okay? And you're bringing the two together, causing that transmutation, causing that alchemy to occur. If you need help manifesting, I can't stress it enough, and I will say it again, um, <laughs> monthly manifestations, okay, will assist you with that. You have to understand what a manifestation is in order for you to manifest. Manifestation is the same as prayer. The difference with prayer and manifestation is when you pray, and I've done this and specified this in one of my other readings. I can't remember what sign it was, but 
the difference and I have nothing against anyone's religion. I am definitely open to all religions, okay? Um, I throw no shade at religions, but when you pray, that is a hope, okay? When you pray for uh, better days, okay? How are you making the days better, okay? That's just my personal opinion. Praying is hoping. When you pray for better days, you're just hoping for better days. But how are you contributing to those better days, okay? When you're manifesting, you are stating, okay, I want to manifest better days for mankind. And then you find ways in which you can help mankind have better days, okay? Including yourself, whether that is being more neighborly to that neighbor next door to you just by saying good morning, okay? Um, helping someone, holding the door for someone. That is a ripple effect, which is something that I've talked about on my channel as well. How ripple effects can cause either consequences or rewards, okay? Just by taking those small little steps, you are, and this is just an example of how to create better days for mankind. Creating better days in a sense of having or reaffirming people's faith in humanity in a sense, okay? Um, someone behind you has one item that they're, they're holding in the line at the grocery store. Add it to yours, okay? Pay it and all they'll do is pay it forward. Maybe they'll do it for somebody else. Um, let somebody get in line in front of you if you're not in a rush, okay? Those little tiny things cause a ripple effect, you know, where within that person, they could have been, a, they could have had a bad day. They could be like, oh, people are just rude. You know, they could have had an awful day before they met you. You're a complete stranger, but doing that little bit for them shows them, you know what, there's still some good people in this world. And it reaffirms their faith in people, which then in turn makes them pay it forward to someone else. Okay. And that is the ripple effect. Okay. So that is also part of transmutation. All right. Um, not just within yourself, but with other, other people around you, okay? So that's just a small example. So Virgos, that is all I have for you guys. There's nothing else here that we need to discuss. Again, these are meant to be brief, but there's obviously some things that needed to be touched on for a couple of different Virgo placements, okay? Hopefully we touched on everything. Um, we have three more readings for the, the signs this week. You know how it goes. We get a little bit deeper um, as we go into the week. So hopefully you guys continue to ride this energy wave with me. Until then, Virgos, peace.